Thank you for choosing iSpring Reverse Osmosis System. You have purchased one of iSpring's finest residential reverse osmosis drinking water systems. With proper installation and maintenance, this water filtration system will provide you clean and refreshing drinking water for years to come. Please follow the instructions in the video for proper installation procedures. Before we begin, please carefully read the attention and warning notice on the system packaging. Check that all parts were included in the package that your RO system arrived in, and be sure to have all the required tools ready. Installation Feed Water Adapter RO100 and PH100 were designed as under sink water filtration systems. Please clean out the space under the sink prior to installation. The feed water adapter fits common half inch and 3 8 inch connectors. If you have a different size fitting, you will need to purchase a converter in order to attach the feed water adapter. Step 1. Turn off the cold water supply valve under the sink and turn on the faucet to drain out air and water in the connector pipe. Step 2. Unscrew the faucet connector pipe. Be prepared to catch excess water from the pipe with a towel. Step 3. Install the feed water adapter to the cold water supply valve and tighten it with a wrench. Please make sure the O-ring is seated properly inside the adapter to prevent leaks. Step 4. Additionally, make sure the O-ring inside the faucet connector pipe is also seated properly to prevent leaks. Reinstall the faucet connector pipe to the feed water adapter and tighten it with a wrench. Step 5. Unscrew the nut on the feed water adapter valve. Insert the 3 8 inch red tubing into the nipple and then insert the nut to secure the tubing. Installation Drain Saddle Step 1. Choose a spot on the drain pipe that is convenient for installing the drain saddle and tubing. A horizontal pipe is recommended to minimize the dripping sound. Step 2. Drill a quarter inch hole into the drain pipe. Paste the black sticky pad around the hole to prevent leaks. Step 3. Cut the end of the quarter inch black tubing tip to make a 45 degree angle. Insert the tubing through the drain saddle to the drain pipe. Step 4. Install the back plate and tighten the two screws with hex nuts while the tubing remains in the hole. Pull the tubing lightly to make sure it is secure. Installation RO Drinking Faucet Choose a suitable flat surface on the sink or countertop to install the smart faucet. If your kitchen sink does not have a pre-existing hole, you will need to drill a hole 7 16 inch to 1 1⁄2 inch diameter. Step 1. Clean and dry the sink hole area. Step 2. Insert the front plate, then the rubber washer into the faucet base. Step 3. Insert the faucet into the sink hole. Step 4. From under the sink, insert the rubber washer followed by the wing nut into the faucet stem. Tighten the wing nut to secure the faucet. Step 5. Insert the 3 8 inch to quarter inch convert fitting to the faucet stem. Step 6. Insert the 3 8 inch white tubing into the push-in adapter half inch deep and then insert a locking clip to lock the tubing in place. Step 7. Measure and cut the 3 8 inch white tubing. We will use the rest of tubing for connecting the water storage tank. Make sure you leave enough tubing length for future maintenance. Installation. Water Storage Tank Step 1. Make sure the O-ring is seated properly inside the tank valve to prevent leaks. Screw the tank valve to the water storage tank. Step 2. Insert the 3 8 inch white tubing half inch deep into the tank valve. Step 3. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the 3 8 inch locking clip. Make sure the tank valve is in the closed position. Installation Reverse Osmosis Membrane Step 1. Disconnect the push connect fitting on the membrane housing cap. Unscrew the cap by turning it counterclockwise. All systems have been tested with pressurized water flow to ensure build quality prior to being packed. It is normal to see a small amount of water residue remaining in the membrane housing. Step 2. 
Unwrap and insert the membrane into the housing and make sure the membrane is seated flush with the housing. Step 3. Check that the membrane housing O-ring and housing cap O-ring are seated properly. Screw the cap back onto the housing. Use the housing wrench to tighten the cap with another quarter to half turn of the wrench. Do not over tighten as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacement difficult. Step 4. Connect the push fitting back to the membrane housing cap. Pre-filter wash. Filters that are posted in front of the reverse osmosis membrane are called pre-filters. We recommend performing a pre-filter wash every time you install or replace pre-filters to prolong the RO membrane service life and maximize the system performance. Step 1. Unscrew stage 1, 2, and 3 filter housings. Take out and unwrap all filters. Step 2. Insert the filters back into their housings and make sure the housing O-rings are properly seated to prevent leaks. Step 3. Twist the housings counterclockwise onto the housing caps. Use the housing wrench, tighten the housing with another quarter to half of a turn. Do not over-tighten as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacement difficult. Step 4. Install the 3 8 inch elbow fitting to the system water inlet port. Install the quarter-inch elbow fitting to the system water outlet port. Do not over-tighten those fittings. Step 5. Remove the locking clip and insert the 3 8 inch red tubing from the feed water adapter to the system water inlet fitting. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Step 6. Remove the locking clip and insert the quarter-inch black tubing from the drain saddle to the system outlet fitting. Make sure all tubing is inserted half an inch deep into the fittings to prevent leaks. Step 7. Turn on the cold water supply valve and slowly turn on the feed water valve. Let the water fill and flush the pre-filters for at least 5 minutes. Check and make sure that no leaks occur. Step 8. Shut off the feed water valve. The pre-filter wash is now complete. System installation. Step 1. Remove the black tubing from the system water outlet fitting. Be prepared to catch excess water from the connection with a towel. Step 2. Remove the locking clip on the waste water port. Connect the black tubing from the drain saddle to the system waste water port. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Step 3. Connect the quarter-inch red tubing from the RO membrane housing to the system water outlet fitting. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Step 4. Connect the 3 8 inch white tubing from the drinking faucet to the final stage of your system. The final stage filter will be a post-carbon filter or an alkaline filter, depending on your system model. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Step 5. Connect the 3 8 inch white tubing from the water storage tank valve to the T-fitting of the post-carbon filter. Lock the tubing in place by inserting the locking clip. Installation Leak Stop Valve RO100 and PH100 comes with a leak stop valve that can automatically shut off the inlet water from entering the water system when it detects a leak, effectively protecting your home from water damage. The valve is highly sensitive to water. Be mindful to install it with extra caution as the leak stop pad inside the valve will easily absorb water and expand and will need to be replaced every time it comes into contact with water. Step 1. Find a dry and flat spot under the sink that is close to the system to place the leak stop valve. Measure and cut the inlet tubing. Be prepared to catch water with a small bucket. Step 2. Connect the tubing from the feed water valve to the inlet port of the leak stop valve. Step 3. Connect the red tubing from the system inlet to the outlet port of the leak stop valve. Please make sure all tubings are inserted half an inch deep into the fittings. Step 4. Paste the leak stop valve to the under sink surface. Please make sure the surface is completely dry to avoid system shutoff. System Startup Step 1. Make sure the tank valve is in the closed position and make sure no tubings are kinked. Step 2. 
turn on the feed water valve and check all of the connections for any leaks. Be sure to turn off the feed water valve and fix any leaks before moving on to the next step. Step 3. Turn on the drinking faucet to purge out all air. The water will start to trickle within a few minutes. Step 4. Let the water trickle for at least 10 minutes to drain out any residual materials from membrane and filters. Step 5. Shut off the drinking faucet and turn on the tank valve. The water storage tank will now fill up. The water storage tank usually takes 1 to 2 hours to fill, depending on your water pressure and water temperature. Step 6. Do not use the first tank of water after the tank is full. We recommend draining out the tank twice before using any water. Turn on the drinking faucet to drain out the tank completely. When the tank is completely drained, the stream of water will become a trickle. Step 7. Shut off the drinking faucet to allow the tank to fill again for another 1 to 2 hours. Step 8. Turn on the drinking faucet to completely drain out the tank again. Step 9. Shut off the drinking faucet to allow the tank to fill again. Once the tank is full, your system is ready for use. Congratulations! Your iSpring Reverse Osmosis System installation is now complete. You can now enjoy clean and refreshing water from home. Please refer to the user manual or contact us directly if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.